Hello, I am Luxbrush, and here are my thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship's Magic, Season 4, Episode 10, Rainbow Falls. Well, I have a guest with me today, a friend of mine. <laughs> Very funny. Inside joke. Moving on. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? You don't have to say your name or anything. <laughs> if I had an OC, this would be easier. So we'll just go with Ember for now. So my first reaction to watching this episode was, what happened to Rainbow Dash and bulk biceps? Okay, why can't he fly like he did in other episodes? I mean, he was part of the Wonder Boats episode. Yeah, he was in the Wonder Boats episode, and he was also in the episode where they had to get the water. Yeah, he flies perfectly well in those two episodes, so why is he having trouble this time? Because it's funny. Also, he's voiced by a different person than he usually is voiced. They gave him a permanent voice now. And the first part of this episode, well, for most of the episode, it just felt off. It was hard to really articulate. It just felt like characters were not in character. For one, Applejack seemed a little bit too pushy with her goods. And then there's Rarity, where you're wondering... That's not Rarity's dresses. Rarity would never make anything that atrocious. Yeah. Nobody really seems to be in character except for Fluttershy and Twilight. Because Twilight is very calm, very observant. She's advising Rainbow Dash without telling her what to do. Which not only is in character, but is very princess-like. This is probably the most princess-like she's acted since episodes one and two where we were all about oh my god she's a princess so you must do princess things and we must treat you differently <laughs> and poor rarity the those outfits i i would have to say that they're probably on par with what her friends designed for themselves for the fashion show they they don't have anything of her style they're not practical they were definitely that bad. Now that you point that out, I can definitely clearly see that that's like something Fluttershy would design. Mm, pretty much. I mean, Fluttershy has that weird freaky sewing knowledge, which was only referenced in the one episode. I like the fact that they also have griffins in the background. So that was nice to harken back to the fact that we have more than two griffins ever. Yeah, and that we have more than one intelligent flying species. And presumably they live in Equestria, considering that Rainbow Dash went to school with Glinda and Rainbow Dash grew up in Cloudsdale. The, the one thing that started to redeem this episode for me was when we really started to get the arc of Rainbow redeeming herself over what happened in the beginning. Because the beginning just felt, felt so forced to get us to this point of the fact that one, she's relearning two lessons she's already learned. So we're trying to, it looks like in this arc of episodes, have a character fall from their element and then reclaim it. And that worked very well for me in Rarity's episode because her generosity was taken advantage of, which hurt her faith in the generosity of others. But Rainbow Dash has been loyal since the beginning. Season one, we have Rainbow Dash refusing to join the Shadow Bolt team in order to help her friends. Yeah, this wasn't enough of a temptation for her to fall back on her loyalty. Especially considering that she already walked out on the Wonderbolts once in the Wonderbolt Academy episode. Yeah, it's like they went back a couple of seasons with Rainbow Dash to get her to be able to fall in this episode so she can learn her loyalty again, which doesn't really work because... We already did that back in a couple other episodes where loyalty was relearned by Rainbow Dash. Yeah, so what they really needed was something that was a more difficult choice, or I know it's a children's show, but something a little more subtle that's a test of loyalty. Yeah, I can't really think of any scenarios myself right now, but that's because I'm just thinking of stuff off the top of my head for this. Well, it, you could use something like the episode where Twilight was keeping secrets between... Rarity and Fluttershy. Rainbow Dash could actually learn a unsafe secret 
that some pony is doing something that is bad for them. But it's one of her friends, and they've asked her to be sworn to secrecy. So she's torn between the promise she made to keep the secret and the fact that she values her friend so much that she should, mm. you know, tell so that they can get help. I know, it's very full house, but it's very traditional. So it would be a test of two loyalties. Which loyalty is actually more important than the other? Which one's a true loyalty and which one's a false loyalty? Which would be much more interesting than ditch your friends and join the Wonderbolts, which we already had in two other episodes. I like the fact that we finally got Derpy back and more prominent than she usually is. She was actually more prominent in this episode than she was the episode with Applejack where she first had a speaking role, which I don't think she's ever going to have again. Considering the explosion. But I'm glad we actually have her back. She's doing stuff that we expected to do. Another thing I didn't notice is she was actually staring at Applejack's muffin-like creations. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a brown Betty, but I'm betting it's yummy. Yeah, especially and it if it's made very by muffin-like. Yeah, especially if it's made by the Apple family. Yeah. That's one reason that I, I want to visit Equestria just once if it was real, just for the Apple family farm. <laughs> You do realize they put you to work, right? I don't care. I get awesome free food afterwards. <laughs> well, that's our thoughts on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 10, Rainbow Falls. Any closing thoughts? I was nowhere near done. How long do you usually make these things? As long as I feel like. Please continue. <laughs> we haven't even touched on the behavior of the Wonderbolts in the dishonesty of lying to Soren. Well, some other reviewers pointed that out as well, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. We have Spitfire acting in a very responsible manner, especially in the Wonderbolt Academy episode. And to take an authority figure that is looked up to and respected, to have them behave in... To have them behave out of character? Not just out of character, but to behave in such a negative fashion and not fully address it. I mean, Rainbow Dash looks up to the Wonderbolts, and when she stood up to Spitfire and Wonderbolt Academy, she didn't give Spitfire a chance to respond. Spitfire had the, what I feel is the correct response of chastising the other Pegasus for her reckless behavior. So Spitfire was very responsible there. But here we have her deciding that they should ditch Soren in order to get Rainbow Dash on the team. If Rainbow Dash stayed with her original team as the strongest flyer of the three, yes, they're likely to qualify. But if Rainbow Dash is stronger in flight than Soren, you're talking three excellent flyers on the Wonderbolts, versus one excellent flyer and two mediocre flyers for the Ponyville team, the Wonderbolts still have an amazing chance in the Equestria games. I mean, why jeopardize a working team that has a lot of experience together and knows how each flyer is going to react? Wow, you have some good thoughts there. <laughs> I should record with you more often, except for the whole distance thing. We can probably figure it out over Google Voice. Speaking of how long this took to get out, I've been working on a, building a dresser and recovering from a con. So, yeah, I meant to get this out way sooner, but there's things called work, building things, and recovering from a con. Mostly recovering from a con. It's just a good thing we didn't go to the pony party, considering that one of the panelists didn't show up because they were recovering from a hangover. Yes. <laughs> well, are you done with your thoughts? Yeah. Well, there... God dang it. <laughs> so there are our closing thoughts, at least for now, on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 10, Rainbow Falls. And here are some updates. I probably won't get the full colored versions of the last two drawings I've done out until after I'm back. Then I'll have a lot of time to get those done. But I will have another line drawing for the next episode when it comes out. Probably on Sunday, if not Monday. And once again, thank you for listening and hope to talk to you soon. So much different doing it in front of you. <laughs>
Oh my god, seriously, we talk all the time. You're just talking to the internet. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Luxbrush, and here are my thoughts. Oops. Hello, I am Luxbrush, and here are my thoughts on My Little Pony French Magic. <laughs> Hello, my name is Luxbrush. <laughs> Hello, I am not Lux Brush. He's taking too long. <laughs> We're going to talk about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 10, Rainbow Falls. One more time for me. <laughs> Hello, I am Lux Brush, and here are my thoughts on My Little Pony Friendship is My My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 10, Rainbow Falls.